Thank you so much for joining. My name is Amir. I am a data engineer and consultant here at SenseCorp. Um, today's presentation will be more on the data engineering side of the wheelhouse. Um, I'm going to be focusing primarily on a product known as Matillion um, and kind of an end-to-end -end data engineering solution. So I will be walking through high level, what is Matillion, uh, ETL versus ELT, some of the key benefits and features of Matillion. Uh, we'll go ahead and do a quick product demo and we're going to go and wrap it up from there. Let's go ahead and get started. The first thing is what is Matillion ETL? So Matillion ETL is an ETL slash ELT tool built specifically for cloud data, uh, data warehouse platforms, uh, which includes AWS Redshift, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake. It is a modern browser-based UI with a uh, powerful uh, ETL and ELT functionality. Um, and with fast setup, you're up and running in minutes. So um, Matillion ETL is used by some of the biggest organizations in the world, uh, such as Amazon, Home Depot, GE, Simons, and DocuSign. And it is also supported by three of the biggest cloud platforms in the world, which is uh, Microsoft Azure, Google Cloud Platform, and AWS. So to get into um, how Matillion can be used in a production environment, um, we kind of want to walk through the concept of ETL versus ELT. Um, so ETL has been the traditional way of moving data from one place to another. Um, it stands for extract, transform, then load. Um, and so essentially you, you take the data from your source database and then use the ETL infrastructure and then you load it into a data warehouse. Um, but there's a new concept uh, which is called ELT. And so essentially what the difference between these two, uh, this modern ELT concept is uh, from ETL is that the main thing is where you process the transformations, right? So like I was saying in ETL, you use the ETL infrastructure to do your processing and then you load it to the data warehouse. Whereas in ELT, you just take your source data and you load it straight to the cloud or your cloud data warehouse platform um, and you do your transformations inside of there. So the main key benefits of that is that um, the first thing is performance. Um, so, the, so performance um, for these massively parallel processing data platforms such as Redshift, Google BigQuery, and Snowflake, they've actually been designed and optimized for this new kind of modern ELT methodology. And traditionally, uh, ETL takes a, a lot more time to load the data. Um, the next thing is cost. So uh, managing your own on-premise infrastructure to support your ETL and transformation can be very cost heavy. Um, but if you push those costs to the cloud, um, it's a lot, uh, lot, lot, it could be a lot cheaper depending on how you uh, set up your infrastructure. Um, and then lastly, the cloud, right? Um, so cost, performance, a lot of this stuff ties into just it being a cloud product, right? And so you get to leverage the power of the cloud. And what I mean by that is um, the cloud is, allows you to be scalable, it allows you to be agile with your infrastructure and how you're how you're moving data from one place to another so you can meet your data needs as as you want with essentially a push of a button so the key benefits that i found with matillion um there's a lot more that i will kind of walk through when we get into the demo but i kind of wanted to break them down into the four main um essentially the four main uh points so the first one is simplicity right so simplicity with Matillion, it has an intuitive UI um, and it, its approach to data transformation makes complex tasks very simple. Uh, second is speed. Um, it has very fast time to value from launching to developing to production. Um, sequentially, this, this can move a lot faster when you're working with a tool like Matillion just because um, you have your data in the cloud and you can just start developing. And I'll go and walk through some of the features that make it so fast. The third is scale. Right, so it's built to take advantage of the powers and features of Redshift, Snowflake, and uh, BigQuery and the cloud. And then lastly, savings, right? Um, so Matillion allows you to have pay as you go with no long-term commitments, um, but it also gives you the flexibility of um, kind of getting into that contract-based uh, payment option. So that way, if you wanna go down that route, you're able to have that as well. So a lot of flexibility in payments, but also like a pay as you go, uh, if that makes more sense for your organization. All right, so let's go ahead and just hop right into the demo. Um, so I wanted to show you guys Matillion in action, right? Um, but I wanted to show it to you in an end-to-end -end data engineering solution. 
Um, but some of these, uh, the, like kind of before I do that, I wanted to break down some of the cloud components that are used in this demo, just in case um, any of anybody watching this uh, video has not actually used any of these products. So the first one I'm going to break down is S3. So S3 is um, stands for Amazon Simple Storage Service. Um, it's a service offered by Amazon Web Services, uh, and it provides object storage through a web service interface. So one cool fact uh, about S3 actually is that the scalable storage infrastructure that S3 is 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 what Amazon.com's entire global e-commerce network is built off of. The second is AWS Lambda. Um, so Lambda is an event-driven serverless computing platform provided by Amazon uh, as a part of their AWS stack. Um, it is a computing service that runs code in response to events and automatically manages the computing, uh, computing resources required by that code. Um, so you can essentially think of it as code as a service. And so what Lambda can do is it can take an event, like for example, something was put into an S3 bucket, and it can do a certain action based off of that event. Next is SQS. So uh, Amazon SQS is a distributed message queuing service. Um, and it was introduced to amazon.com in late 2004. And it's actually one of their oldest products. It is a core AWS service. Um, it supports a programmatic sending of messages via web service applications to communicate uh, via the internet. And Matillion, we've kind of gone through what Matillion is, um, but like I said, it's a cloud ETL ELT tool. And then Lastly is Amazon Redshift. So for this demo, uh, we're going to be using um, Amazon Redshift, but Matillion is compatible, like I said, with the BigQueries and the uh, Snowflakes of the world. So um, Amazon Redshift is a fully managed petabyte scale data warehouse solution in the cloud. Um, and what we're going to be working with is its in-console query editor functionality, um, which allows us to do kind of database management stuff like your uh, prototypical SQL queries and um, things along those lines. Let's just go ahead and go straight into the console. Um, first thing we we're going to want to jump into is S3. So I have the file that we're going to be using um, in here already. Um, it is essentially um, a data set for NFL players. So I thought I'd make it a little bit more fun. So let me go ahead and just get rid of this. I just kind of wanted to show you what it looks like when it's in there. Um, but we're going to be running this process from the beginning. So um, like I said, S3, um, this is, it's it's essentially like a file system similar to what's on your machine, um, on your computer, but it is object store, so it's a little bit different in the way that it works. Um, but for all intents and purposes, you can think of it as like a file system. So what we have set up in this bucket called SenseCorp Matillion Test is we have events, right? So we have this event right here where essentially uh, it's called get object for Lambda to Matillion. So if any object is created inside of this bucket, so if anything is put inside of this bucket, it's going to go ahead and send to Lambda, and it's going to send it to this specific Lambda function. And, uh, it's called Matillion S3 get object Python. Um, so this event of, hey, this, um, this object was created will be sent to Lambda. So let's go ahead and jump into Lambda. Uh, so this is the Lambda function, uh, Matillion S3 get object Python, uh, or yep, uh, get object Python. So this is actually written in Python. Um, I'm not going to go in line by line into the code, but essentially what this Lambda function does is it's going to take uh, the file metadata that uh, from the file that was loaded into S3, and it's essentially going to take that and take that file metadata and push it into an SQS message. Um, so it, it's going to take like a file name and other things, and it's going to pass it to this queue, uh, SC Matillion SQS1. So let's go ahead and jump into SQS so we can see that queue. Perfect. So this is the queue here. Um, not too fancy, but so essentially what this queue is going to do is it's going to have uh, a bunch of messages, depending on if you load a bunch of uh, files at once, it'll have a queue so it can load those files one by one. And so that's the, that's the reason we have this queue. Um, so, so, so the queue essentially is going to get, get that file information from S3 and give it to Matillion. Well, how is it gonna do that, right? Um, so that's, that's one of the cool features of Matillion. And I'll go ahead and jump into the Matillion console. 
So in Matillion, we have something known as SQS configurations. And so we have a listener. So this uh, job is going to be listening for this specific queue, the same queue that we have in SQS. Um, and it's going to be listening for any messages that go inside there. And depending on that message, it'll know what file to load from S3. So before I kind of break down this solution, I wanted to just go into the console of Matillion and kind of break down kind of the major components of Matillion. So Matillion uh, right here is like on the left hand side is um, typically what you see in a lot of uh, development or IDE platforms. Um, it's kind of a it's it's a project or job directory uh, where you have all your solutions and and other things and so you can traverse through this as needed. Uh, we're going to be working with the load S3 to Redshift as a demo. Um, so yeah, this this is where you would uh, traverse through any projects that you have. And then the next thing is components. Uh, so components are essentially kind of drag and drop. Uh, components are drag and drop things that you can put into Matillion and it can do certain functionalities for you. So you can work with AWS components, you can work with GCP components, um, you can actually work with, uh, you can actually work with, you know, CRM and ERP platforms like SAP um, and Dynamics and, and pull data from there uh, to load into your data warehouse. Um, you can have some more custom uh, ETL, ELT with Bash and or Python. Uh, depending on how you want to work. You can do transformations or anything uh, regarding that. And then also you can kind of manage your environments in here. You can have a test, te tef, uh, excuse me, test, dev, and production environments um, to manage any of the development that you're doing in there. And then over here is the property section. Uh, so properties. So what are properties? That's a really important thing in Matillion. So properties are essentially the parameters that you're going to be used to fill out one of these tasks, right? So whenever you drag and drop a component into here, there's certain fields that you need to fill out so it knows what to do. So for example, uh, we have, you know, what's the table name going to be called in Redshift? Um, right now we have it to where if the table is available in Redshift, it'll create it. Or, sorry, if the table's already in Redshift, it's not going to create it, but if it's not there, then it will create the table and it has the table metadata just in case the table is not there. Um, so just basic parameters that you need to fill out to create that table. And then also to load into Redshift, we have, as you can see here, we have the S3 location. And then this file to load is actually a variable that we're using from the queue, the listening uh, that we're doing from the queue. Um, and that's going to be tell us, oh, this file was dropped in here. Now it's time to load this exact file. And we also have some of the more data related traditional things that you have to uh, fill out for the file type. So it's a CSV. What's the delimiter? Um, any kind of date, time formatting, header rows, uh, just kind of very basic things that uh, you have to do in any CSV loading. And then over here uh, is kind of our running or kind of like in progress job. So right now we don't have anything running, but it'll kind of break down uh, any errors you run into or if it was a successful run, etc. And over here is the admin menu. So the admin menu, we have a bunch of features and functionalities. Um, that allow you to do, you know, ETL updates, SSL, uh, database drivers, auditing, things along those lines. So just to kind of highlight some of those key features that I went over, uh, to summarize some of those key features, um, the Matillion console allows you to build sophisticated and powerful ETL and ELT jobs. Um, it has live feedback, validation, data preview in tool. Um, as you build your ETL and ELT jobs, and one of my favorite features of this product is build jobs together in disparate locations similar to Google Docs. So me and another data engineer could actually be working on this development for this job at the same time. Um, and I could see what he's working on and what I'm working on in the same kind of UI and, it's, and it essentially updates in real time. So as you can imagine, the development, uh, the development of these um, jobs and ETL, ELT work can be uh, sped up immensely. Um, it has a drag and drop browser interface that's very easy to understand. It has over 25 tools in the admin menu to administer your uh, ELT instance, uh, over 50 query components that you can retrieve data from. Uh, it has easy UI and basic functions so you can build your first job in minutes. I'm not even kidding, this job right here took me about 10 minutes to build. Um, and it has incline support and then uh, other cool features such as uh, document uh, documentation generation and data lineage. Um, so those are some of the key features of Matillion. So I'm going to go ahead and kick off this job, but before I do that, I want to just quickly go into Redshift and just 
kind of show you. Uh, we essentially have that table basic stats. I've already run this query and it shows that there's no data in there. Um, so in this console query editor, uh, once we've put the file into S3, it should shoot over to Lambda. Uh, Lambda should push a message to SQS. SQS should be heard by Matillion and it should load it to this table, basic stats, uh, basic NFL stats um, for uh, InterRedShift. So let's go ahead and drop a file in. Um, so I'm going to push in this basic stats CSV and just go ahead and go through with the, and then I'm going to switch over to Matillion. We're going to see it run real quickly here. Uh, we're working with about uh, 100,000 records. So as you can see, it was lightning fast and it's already loaded into Redshift. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and run this select statement for basic stats. And now we should see um, some data in here. Perfect. As you can see, we have um, we have the NFL player data loaded into this database, and now it's ready to be um, ingested. So, in conclusion, Matillion can be a tool to expedite your process to modern data analytics um, by using a a modern data ingestion process, um, and it allows for self-service analytics with tools such as Tableau and Power BI. Furthermore, uh, the simplistic UI and the performance optimized ELT methodology, along with the cost, agility, and scalability of the cloud, uh, makes Matillion a great product and a value add for organizations going forward. Um, I really enjoyed working with Matillion. I think it's a great tool. Um, and if you have any questions regarding Matillion or any other cloud offerings in AWS, uh, GCP, and or Azure, please feel free to reach out to hear us, uh, us here at SenseCorp. Thank you so much and have a good one. Bye-bye.